Okay, just a quick technical today, um, and I'll, the nice thing is it's a practical technique. It's not complicated, um, but it can be a bit daunting if you've not done it before. We're looking today at a lamb with entropion, and by entropion, I mean its eyelid, in this case lower eyelid, is rolled in, and that rolling in causes rubbing up against the eye, and if any of you have ever had a little scratch on your eye, you know that that can be really, really painful. If it's untreated, it can then lead to uh, ulceration, infection, and that lamb can eventually go blind in that eye. Uh, what causes it is a strong hereditary component. So essentially, if you want to prevent it, it's a case of working out which tups are possibly causing a batch of lambs to get it and eliminating them from your breeding flock. And certainly, if you're retaining replacements, not to retain replacements that have had this condition as lambs. This, by the way, is the only sensible use for a horse box. And that's as somewhere to put pet lambs, just the one for now. Um, I know some other guys have done demonstrations of how to do these injections. Uh, Will at Cowley Hill Farm is one. I think Cammy at the Sheep Games done one as well. By all means, go and have a look at how they do it. It'll be more or less the same. The only key thing I'd say is restraint. Make sure you've got someone decent and confident holding the lamb, because obviously it can be fairly aversive to have a needle shoved near your eye, especially when your eye's already sore. Um, I'll put a link to an alternative method as well, using what's called Michelle clips or suture clips. That link will be in the video description. It's from FAI Farms, really good organization down in Oxford. Um, by all means, go and have a look. There's a really clear explanation with some great photos. Nice one. As you can see, this lamb's eye is already pretty irritated. So that blue discoloration, the opacity of the cornea, which would normally be clear and colorless, suggests that there is at least an injury there, if not infection. Now, I'll demonstrate to you in a second how that eyelid is turned in. It's that rubbing of the eyelid which starts off the chain of events that can lead to ulceration and infection. With injection, what we're aiming to do is actually lift that lower eyelid off the eyeball and in that way stop it rubbing against the eyeball. To some extent, you could argue that the solution we use, the drug we use for injection, is academic and in most cases we use some sort of penicillin. So in this case I'm just using a straightforward procaine penicillin. If you're in any doubt as to what the best solution to use is, ask your vet. And we're only using a small amount, normally between half a mil and one mil. This is another great example of when using the right size needle and syringe can make the job a lot easier. So starting with a syringe you only want to use something max two and a half mils so you're not wielding a big 10 mil syringe while only trying to inject half a mil to a mil. Additionally you should be using a nice fine needle so here I'm using a half inch 21 gauge needle that's not the big heavy duty needles we might use for sick or lame use. By using a nice fine needle we're going to reduce the resistance put up by the lamb that's going to make it easier to get this right the first time round. The aim here is to insert your needle almost parallel to the skin of the lower eyelid, almost just catching it. Be careful not to come out of the other side and be careful, if you can, not to withdraw out before you've injected your solution. That's because if you go back in, you'll simply inject your penicillin or whatever you're using right out of the other hole. This is where having someone who's confident in restraining the lamb comes in very, very useful. Take your time in making sure you're in the right spot but once you are, don't hesitate to inject your solution. Once you've withdrawn your syringe, you should be able to see a nice big bleb of the drug you've injected that lifts the lower eyelid off the eye itself and therefore relieves the rubbing. There are eye ointments available and they can be very useful in helping fight infection and lubricating the eye. Your vet will be the best person to advise if it is suitable for your cases of entropion. For mild cases of entropion, simply flicking the eyelid out can do the trick. There's also the suture clip method. I'll put a link to that in the video description. And for really severe cases, there's even the option for surgical excision. 
in any case, if you're trying this method, I would always recommend having someone who's experienced in it showing you how to do it first. And remember, your vet can always do that for you.